Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a bullet list in Excel. So I've got two examples on the screen. I've got one bullet list that sits in the same cell, and then a bullet list that is just typed in one cell, and you can just pull that down and expand that list if you want. So how have I done this? What I've used is a symbol for a full stop and I've done that through insert symbol so I've got insert symbol and then in this symbol box I've gone not onto um, normal text I've actually got the ones down here look because I've recently used them so I've got this one I've had a go at that one which is code 183 or what you have to do to get that is 0183 on the number pad of your keyboard and that one is 046. So whatever number comes up there, you need to put a zero in it, in front of it. So it'll bring it in. And then you hold your Alt key down and just type that number. You don't have to come into this box. But if you're in this box, you can click on these symbols. So there's a, a small dot there, which is this one, code 46. And then this bigger dot is in symbols. So you need to come down this list find symbols which is obviously near the bottom just click, click on that and then come down a bit from there find symbols and then you've got different options in there so symbol and then I think that's it there yeah 183 so whichever one you want whichever symbol you want you you, you act, find it and then make a note of the number so I've got that one there as well on symbol looks so at the both on symbol the two I want to use so that's 46 and that's 183 so I'll just normally you would just go insert and it would put it in there like that but I don't want to do that so I'll close that and let's do my own little list so if I go for the small one first which is I'm pressing my alt key on the keyboard I'm going 046 when I let go I get that small full stop if you like or bullet and then I'm going to go phase one now this is this cell is wrapped already set to um, wrap text or this this line here is this cell isn't but I will do it in a minute so if I go alt enter and then that will wrap it round into this cell and then it'll be exactly the same as this list in cell a1 so I'll just do that again alt 046 space phase two Alt key down, press enter, Alt 046 on the key on the number board, uh, number pad, and then phase three. When I press enter, it goes up like that. So that's the first one. Now, if you want it in separate cells like this, remember when you type any word in Excel, if I put a week one, for example, and pull that down, Excel will assume that you want to do that, a numerical list. So this phase, I only need to do one of these and then pull it down and it will do exactly what you can see there. So again, I'm going Alt 046, type in phase one, and then pulling that down. And I get those little bullets coming in like that. Now the bigger one, the, the, the 0183, let's have a look at that one, Alt 018 three see that's come as a small even though that showed initially as a large dot it's coming as a small one phase one and then I can pull that one down as well it stays as a small one. so if I come over here let's see what happens alt zero one eight three still coming in as a small dot now if I go into the symbols insert symbol click on it so that's the same one I've just been typing it looks a lot bigger when you go insert and then just close this box it does actually come in a lot bigger so why the key command sometimes shows it small I'm not too sure about that um, obviously if it's coming in this size it's slightly too big um, well, it might be okay if, if that's how you if you want it like that see the fonts changed as well there so the alt key might not be correct on that one but it doesn't matter whichever symbol you want you get the right symbol you find out the number you put the symbol in for your bullet and then you can pull it down like that or you can use the alt 
and enter key to have it wrapping round. If you don't, if you can't remember the key command, it's just wrap text. This is already on. Look, you see that? That's wrapped. That's not. So you could highlight the whole row and do wrap text, and then it would it would do the same sort of thing for you. Now, if any of these lists, um, these are not. This is not a custom list. Excel is intuitive in, enough to know that when you want to, when you pull this down, it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six with a week. If you want to add any of these into a custom list, for example, phase one, this this you could just add that in um, to a cust to the custom list. Now, to put things into a custom list, it's just basically you, you highlight it file options you go to the advanced option it didn't used to be under advanced it used to be under general but now it is under advanced go right down to the bottom edit custom lists and then because I've got this selected I can just insert that and you can see that I've got other ones in there so these lists means I can just type one of these and then pull it down this will auto I don't really need to do this one because it will automatically work for me um, but I've got the little full stop in front of it so that's like a bullet list so let's see what happens here but I'll show you that one okay to that okay again so now I have to do the first one so I'll need to go alt 0 4 6 and then phase 1 and then when I pull that down it will do that custom list and in this case, it's just going to go round and round in circles because I've added it in as a, a as a set list. So it's not going to do that. Well, that's just going to keep going on and on. So you have to be careful. If you want it to be doing all these phases, you don't want to add it as a custom list. The other one I added in there was 1A. And then if you pull that down, B, C, D. So you can add lots of different things to custom lists and then they're available to you in your spreadsheets. But this, this little video is just about using the Alt key and the number pad to get a bullet list set up. So you're using the Alt key and the number pad to bring in a symbol, the bullet symbol, whichever one you want. And then you type in your phrase either in separate cells like this or wrap round like this. But in either case, you've got a bullet list. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.